Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is doing the damn deal. And today we are talking about top 10 knives with swagger. Now, I am going to show you some knives in real time. And then I am also going to show you some pictures that I uh, took screenshots of that I had to get off of online. Also, thank you to the people that did have the pictures online for me to... Uh, to take pictures of or to take screenshots of and also let's talk about what swagger is so basically knives they're a tool they're made to cut but us people in the knife community like to go up and beyond and we've been doing this for hundreds of years you know people kings and people you know the quality of the knife you carried you know said something about who you were and stuff like that and some people take it a little crazier than others so um, some people have knives made out of materials that it's just for swagger it's just to flex and everybody knows that you are you know at some point you are you're flexing with <laughs> with that uh, with that kind of materials or that kind of stuff so let's get to it so first up is just a little pop of color so you know we all wear whatever outfits we're gonna wear and sometimes we carry a knife with just a little pop of color if you can see um maybe it's in titanium maybe it's in aluminum and there's all different types of ways to do this now you can uh you know use different types of material like some people might have a little brass you know pivot collar here and there you know it's like light flexing you know you're flexing lightly some people might just add a little lanyard here and there you know with a little titanium bead just to add a little pop of color it's really not uh based on you know anything functional or anything like that it just matches your outfit or just looks good for the carry Number two, copper and brass. Now, I'm going to show you a couple pictures. First up, you will see, this is from Brass EDC. You can see he's got everything in brass. He's got the scales of his knife. It's a Spyderco. He's got a Zippo with some um, engravings in there. And you can see he's just got a whole bunch of really cool brass objects. Now here is when it just flexes a lot harder. <laughs> this is copper scales on a Marfion Custom that's been engraved. Looks like a samurai warrior engraved in there. Now that's flexing real hard with some copper. And you can see based on these two, just the different levels of flex. And you know, you've seen earlier, we were flexing with a little brass pivot collar, but you can go all the way, all the way. Now, next up, we're gonna talk about just some carbon fiber. I mean, carbon fiber, there's so many different ways to get it and to flex with it and use it. It's beautiful material. Some people have macar or carbon fiber inset in titanium or something like that. And it looks really, really cool. But what my favorite is, is this. The cross cut. Let's zoom in here cross cut carbon fiber where it's basically the side cuts it's the side right here let me focus zoom in a little bit it's the side cut right there and it's on the face so it's this side is on the face and it looks really cool i love that that i mean you you know, it's just another level of flexing with your carbon fiber. Also, you can get colored carbon fiber, and that's just another way of flexing too. So carbon fiber comes in all different colors. You can get it in blues, reds, purples, and it just looks really cool. And it's just another way to, uh, you know, to have some swag on your knife to 
flex just a little bit harder. Next up, we're going to talk about some micarta. Now, there's all different kinds of micarta and all different colors and different styles. Like here, we got some brown micarta. We got some red. We got some, um, some denim micarta. It actually feels like blue jeans. And we got some like this. We got a little green over here. And just flexing with the micarta. But another type that, or not another type, another cut is one that I'm hoping to get my hands on one of these days. Cross cut micarta. Where it's the same thing like the carbon fiber we were just talking about where it's the sides of the face. That's what they're doing right here. And that is just beautiful. I love like the strings. And that's just the side right here as the face. Very, very cool. And then you can even step it up a little. Oh, wait, that's a, that's like a, a close-up of it. Very, very cool. And it looks so sweet. Here it is in two different slabs. So this is what it would look like before it's cut and put on the knife. And then here's a whole bunch of slippies in different kinds of Macarta. Very beautiful. Now, the, the handle materials are made out of all different kinds of materials. And that's the point. Do we really need it made out of that stuff? No. We do it to flex. We do it to have swag in our knives. Because, you know, we've been doing this for thousands of years, you know. So, why not make one out of some damn pencils <laughs> oh my god that's ridiculous look at that that's a whole bunch of damn colored pencils made into a knife handle talk about some swag <laughs> now let's step it up to the next one which would be number okay let's go to number five which is just some good old-fashioned raw titanium with some milling so some milled titanium now you're flexing with this because it's such a strong light material that is just that much better than steel and there's so many different ways to get it done Ooh, looks like i got a couple scuffs on my knife you see all the milling and it just looks really cool now there's a uh, all different ways to, to get it done like you can have it just flat or get that dang old milling in there some nice mill lines get some texture or you can put some of these together and get your milled titanium with your carbon fiber inlay with your little pop of color looking real good Beautiful, beautiful knife. Just a little pop of color. Beautiful um, carbon fiber. This is uh, marbled carbon fiber with some mill lines, some mill titanium backspace here. Beautiful. Then next up, you can even throw some swagger on your blade and get some redonkulous <laughs> grinds that just looks super badass and we're not talking about the handle right now we're talking about just this blade look at that blade two different hollow grinds looks like they even got a hollow grind up on the top of it just some ridiculous grinds that is it necessary no we do it for swagger next up another nightmare grind what does that say i don't believe in anything i'm just sitting here for the violence you're just sitting there for the swagger flexing and if you really w want to tune it up just a little bit more you get the damn steel now what what good does Damascus steel do you or damascus let's talk about damascus first what does damascus do for you Helps you flex. <laughs> Gives you just a little more swagger. 
and then you get the powdered version of Damascus, and you get Damasteel. And then you got some damn swagger Damasteel. And you can see you got that little pop of blue. See that? He's flexing that just a little bit more. That little pop of blue. We talked about the pop of blue in the beginning. Let's get a little close up of this stuff. Wow. Look at that. And there's all different patterns you can do with this. All different crazy patterns. And from Sam Mai to Ladder Damascus. All kinds of different Damascus and Damasteel. Now, let's move on. To the next one which would be first I'm going to show you one of mine and then I'm going to show you someone else's now this would be a little bit of uh, some stasified finish so you take this raw titanium you got there and you do some anna work what good does it do it helps you flex helps you with that swagger and I can't show you a little Stasified finish. This was done by Stasa, Stasa 23. Everybody knows Stasa 23. He likes to put on that flex. Now, if you like that, then you're gonna love my girl Lindy Lou's work. Here's Lindy Lou here. Whoa, Lindy Lou. She's uh doing some amazing work, amazing work. Let's see another one of hers. Bang! Look at that. That looks like some 940 scales. Yeah, some 940 scales. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Amazing. Look at that. I just reviewed that knife. That's the TS220. What the heck was it? Oh, my God. I can't remember. Um, The 220. It's not the 220. I don't. It's one of the 220s, I think. Yeah, it's one of the 220s. Either way, we're not talking about the knife. We're talking about Lindy Lou's finish here. Look at that. Oh, my God. It's just beautiful. Almost looks 3D when I move the, the damn iPad around. Very good, Lindy Lou. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. What the hell knife was that? <laughs> Sounded stupid. Now, if you want to turn it up just a little bit more and flex just a little bit harder... You go to the mocha tie. Look at that mocha tie. Beautiful stuff. Now mocha tie is where it's titanium mixed with other metals and other titaniums and like brass and stuff like that. Just different, you know, titaniums and different metals. Sorry, and they mix it all together into one billet or one you know piece of uh, metal, and then uh, they etch it. They and dyes it whatever and you get these patterns these beautiful patterns look at that so that's not just anodized that's actually the different uh, metals mixing together just to give you just a little bit more flex for that swagger all right then if you really want to take it up another notch whoa whoa we go to number 10 Oh, wait, nope, nope, we got one more. Look at that, that's some uh, that's some more uh, Timascus. So we got Timascus and Mocha Tai, and they're basically the same thing. I think Mocha Tai might use a little bit more um, of the orange, of the brass or copper, but I'm not positive. But then if you really want to flex, you get to number 10, and you, you put that stuff together. And you had the Damasteel with the Damasteel bolsters with some Timascus uh, handles, scales, whatever you want to call it, with a Timascus pivot collar. Woo! Talk about some swagger. Why do you got a knife like that? To flex. Damn! Look at that thing. Wow. I don't even know if my camera's picking it up. Wow, that is crazy. Look at all that work. And then look, he even added in with the, the crazy grind. He wasn't holding back a bit. Let's throw another one of those in there. Look at those two. Wow, got the pivot collar, got the damn steel, time mask his handles, crazy grind, put it all together. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the ultimate flex. 
we got a Protec here made in 24 karat gold inlays with diamonds and some type of Damascus, but we can go one step further, can't we? Solid gold and diamonds. Whoa, whoa, messing everything up. Solid gold and diamonds. Look at that. Woo! Over 50 diamonds are in this knife. That's crazy. Can you imagine how heavy this would be? Now, let's see another one. Bow! Look at all that. We got, looks like gold, mochatai, diamonds, sapphires. I think those are sapphires. That is insane. You're talking about a crazy expensive knife. Holy cow. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. Looks like they got some black diamonds or something up there. Um, yeah, and look at that. The diamonds go up the blade. Wow. Looks like you got a hollow grind on this side and then a hollow grind on this side. And then diamonds going up the blade. What? You can't get no more swagger than this. Holy cow. This is a damn art piece. Made it. It's jewelry. It's jewelry. That's what it is. All right, guys. There you guys go. Top 10 swagger knives. Flexing with your swagger. Peace.